Yeah, we've been talking about um, we've been talking so much on digestion lately on this um, channel, and um, I think we'll be going on to talk about what the intestinal cribs. Okay, these are like um, let's say part of the like digestive mechanism too. Okay, so um, the intestinal cribs, also known as the cribs of labor cone, are glands are glands that are found in epithelial lining of small and large intestines. Okay. So um, they are located between the villi and are covered by epithelium, which contains multiple types of cells, such as what enterocyte, globulet cells, and enteroendocrine cells, cup cells, tuft cells, panet cells, and stem cells. Okay, so this is it, and these are the crypts. We see that they are located in between villi. Okay. So um, they are located between villi, okay, and covered by epithelium. All right. So now um, the basal portion of the crypt contains what multipotent stem cells that can um, differentiate into either an absorptive or secretory what um, lineage. So the crypt contains cell cells that are actually um, not really uh, differentiated, okay. They are only destined to become absorptive or secretory cells, okay. So now, um, the enterocyte in the small intestinal mucosa contain what digestive enzymes that digest specific foods while they are being absorbed through the epithelium. Okay, so this is our this is like um, image of the intestinal crypt. Okay, this is it. This is how they are. You see that they are covered by what epithelium. All right, and um, intestinal crypts. Okay. You see them like holes okay so they contain cells that and these cells can actually become what absorptive cells or these cells can become what secretory cells okay so now um the pores opening between villi and they lead to what intestinal crypt and um could become absorptive cells goblet cells okay and at the base they are rapidly dividing cells. They have a lifespan of three to six days, okay, as uh, as they migrate up to the surface and get slowed off and digested, okay. They migrate to the surface and they get washed or worn out, okay, and digested. So, um, panet cells they are antibacterial secretions. A bonus, a bonus glands in the submucosal secretes was um, bicarbonate mucus. Layers patches are population of the lymphocyte to fight what pathogens. They secrete one to two liters of intestinal juice per day. Okay, that's um. And um, water mucus pH is like 7.4 to 7.8. Okay, that's it, guys. That's it about intestinal cramps. Okay, so see you guys in the next tutorial, and bye for now.